doctor, can you talk about more about fetal development and, and specifically uh, early brain function and vitamin D's role in that? So um, early brain function uh, in an infant, lots of things are going on uh, in an infant's brain. Starting uh, probably in the last trimester of pregnancy um, uh, and then uh, in the first 18 months to two years of life, okay? Again, remember, in those 18 months or two years, what's happening? They're learning to talk. They're learning to walk. They're developing emotional uh, attachments to things. They're communicating with voice. With, with, uh, they're communicating with language. They're communicating with emotions. Mm -hmm. um, and, they're, and they're communicating physically with their environment. And all of this means the brain is changing very rapidly to acquire all of these new skills um, in, in, in very early childhood and in, in late fetal development. Mm -hmm. Growth factors are very important in, 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 in putting all these connections together, particularly nerve growth factor. And what we know in studies is that nerve growth factor is tied directly to vitamin D, and that mm -hmm. vitamin D induces the expression of nerve growth factor. And in the absence of vitamin D, nerve growth factor levels are lower. And we know this from a number of different animal models where you can induce an injury and then see how well it heals in the presence or the absence of vitamin D. There's even behavioral models, because you think about, you know, we think about attention deficit disorder, uh, and then there's autism, and there's schizophrenia, and these may be a spectrum of disorders that relate to abnormal brain development. Attention deficit, the worst of attention deficit disorder being the least severe of these, and schizophrenia and autism being the most severe of these uh, clinical diseases. But we believe these are developmental brain abnormalities. They're not um, uh, some exposure to something mm. late. They were probably something went awry during brain development, um, in, during fetal development, or in the, in the early 18 months mm. uh, uh, after, uh, concept, after uh, confinement or birth. Um, and so it's, a, it's an anatomical, geographical change in the brain that, 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 that is occurring. And we know that vitamin D is important in the migration of neurons to different areas of the brain. We know that vitamin D is important in nerve growth factor secretion. And so during brain development, vitamin D is a key player among other anabolic hormones, okay? Um, uh, sex hormones from the mother and the placenta, um, growth hormones from the mother and the placenta, like insulin-related growth factors uh, and somatomedins, all work in concert with vitamin D to orchestrate um, uh, brain development. Um, and the brain is sort of like a sculpture. So you start out with all of these neurons that are just kind of vibrating, and you sculpt out behavior. It's like carving out mm -hmm. walking and carving out different behaviors. And that's how learning happens. And so actually cells, brain cells, your brain, you're, you're, you're created with a whole excess of brain cells. And you actually, some brain cells die to create the behavior. One brain cell will, neuron will die, allowing the other neuron to flourish, and that creates the behavior, okay. the, this pattern, okay? And vitamin D is absolutely critical in not only helping the one grow that survives, but also turning off the one that you mm -hmm. don't want uh, to, to be there. Um, and you can almost see how, okay, if some neurons that were supposed to be turned off are still on, how that might contribute to a clinical diseases like autism and, sure. and schizophrenia, or how one that was supposed to f flower and flourish in the absence of the, 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 the right soup of growth hormones, including vitamin D, didn't flourish. And, 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 and you can see how this might affect a, a clinical syndrome late, mm -hmm. later on. Um, so it's important for protecting your brain from injury and, and repair from injury. It's important for normal development of the brain. Um, it's important for acquiring uh, and retaining memory um, uh, and cognition. Uh, and so, I mean, these are, these are key features of brain function um, uh, at, during development, and, and they manifest problems early can manifest later in the form of dementia and, and other mm -hmm. diseases. Parkinson's disease, for example.